Well, that technical foul on LeBron James, his third this season. He did it for after getting the foul called on him, which was his fourth personal. He ran down the other end of the floor. And so you said you, you like that technical foul call. Why? Well, no, I didn't say I like that. I said any other player does that, they get hit with a technical. I've seen him a couple of times do that and was not hit with a technical. Why is running to the other end of the floor as Ginobili hits a nice little runner? Why, why is that construed? It's construed as showing up the ref. Well, first of all, why does that matter? First of all, they're not here to see the ref, but how is that showing him up by running away from it? Oh, come on. That is, I mean. That is what? It is showing him up. Why, because you run down the floor? Come on, everybody can see it. It's obviously you're displeased. There's better ways to uh, exhibit your displeasure. Bosch knocks it in. Kindness and respect. I, I don't understand how running the other way doesn't... You, so you'd rather have him stand there and curse the guy out. I'm just telling you what the rule is, what they say. That's considered showing up the official. Allen the foul. Bam. No, they call an offense. No, they, now they say the basket's good. Excuse me. Michael Smith counted and won on a continuation. Yeah, that's a technical. <laughs> yeah, I can see how disrespectful he's being right there. I'm glad they're going to nip that in the bud. So every time a team converts down to the other end because they're running down the floor, it's construed as disrespectful for the official. So every fast break... Every fast break, there should be multiple technicals. See, now you made a good point, and no, then you just, go one step too just, far. It's just, to me, it's just <laughs> mind-boggling how someone would consider a guy going over to the bench, having a momentary, like, reaction, but continuing to his bench for the timeout, and that's a problem. This might be your first rant in a couple of weeks. No, it's not, it's not even a rant. It's just I, I don't... And I don't even understand what, like, like showing up a, a referee. No, you have to have that. That has to be cut part. And then because then it goes one step further as Wade misses do you have rebound. A, do you have a problem with referees showing up players? And Shumpert, as he lost it, didn't even have to finish James Jones off on this little flip back. But that's a flop. God. This, this again... It just ruins the game. I can't believe with all the brilliance we have in the NBA offense that we can't find a way to eliminate this part of the game or at least even start to punish it. I mean, this is just a blatant flop that... He did flop, but he also did push off of it. Go ahead. I'm, I'm just sick of it. And I can't believe the NBA office isn't sick of it, too. They're obviously condoning this. And well, they're I, not condoning They're absolutely condoning flopping because they give them the calls and they don't punish them when they do flop. So what is James gets Anthony up in the air and draws the foul? What's the remedy? Well, if I say it, they will pay no attention. So it doesn't matter. But I have easy remedies. You fine them or you treat them like, like technicals. When you flop X amount of times, you're suspended. But it's very hard to, to flat That's out not play. hard. So technicals are subjective too. Yes, they are. This is subjective. It's, it's so easy. It could be eliminated today if they wanted it to. But because they don't want it to, it continues to go on and on and on without with no stopping in sight. What are we going to replay for now? Oh my goodness. Well, that, that's just a, I don't know if it's a natural basketball play, but it, it's certainly not a flagrant foul. I mean, he's going up. If they missed it, is that an offensive foul? Or I don't know. I get so bored of these replays. They've got a great game going. And I hate that circle over their head motion. It just brings me to my knees. <laughs> it's a trigger for unhappiness for you. No, it's just so much. It's like never ending by the way i want to clarify the rule from earlier jeff that we had questions about on the clear path the officials had doubt as to whether or not the foul was prior to the shooting motion or not if it was before it would have been a clear path foul but because it was after as you accurately illustrated it was just 
a common foul, and in that case, a shooting foul. And we just hit, heard 10 people put their heads on their pillow and go to sleep because no one cares. They want NBA action. They want to see dunks like Andrew Wiggins. And, okay, let's bring it to a halt and go circle our hand over our head as an official and go look at some replay. They're reviewing for an intentional hostile act. How about he just got dunked on? That's the hostile act. My, my, my challenge to the league is why don't we begin to get the real height of the announcers? Oh, starting with oh. JVG. Okay, oh. that, that's good because I'd be about 5'8". But then we got to say, we got to get the real weight of the announcers, too. Okay? Oh, oh, oh. oh, I think that was that was directed at somebody. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. First. Defense! 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 Pass inside. Tristan Thompson finds James. A lot of thunderous dunks here in the opening period. I don't know about this, but... Rihanna just walked in front of me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Stay what are you doing, man? <laughs> Stay with the game. LeBron makes a spectacular play like this, and that's what you deal with? <laughs> yeah. What a play. <laughs> what does second cousins mean? <laughs> well, it's not. It's not. I, I can't go. I don't want to go into All right. I just. When people say that, I, I never know what they mean or what you're allowed to do when you're a second cousin. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, I'm just talking about no. I don't know what a second cousin means. I am so grateful for this commercial right now.